the new there was nothing yesterday there was nothing on monday that's also why i did not care about monday um we have some news pretty much in 20 minutes which is an aussie pair so i'm from toronto est so this would be overnight well it's at 7 30 but for example if the news is moving the market at 7 30 it could still be kind of activating um more so activating towards its normal time which would be around 2 33 a.m my time 1 p.m tomorrow thursday so the end of the week is looking pretty fire but let's look at some aussie so now we're trying to work with five and seven pairs on my watch list my watch list is pretty dry because everything is pretty dry but let's add another aussie so since we know that's what we need to focus on so i'm gonna go with aj so if you have a million pairs on your watch list you know you need to have five to seven if you're part of sma you should already know what you should have alphabetical order everything just organized and we're choosing our pairs based off structure in the news so i already did structure and then now because i know the news of today i'm just going to add in a few more aussies and we might add in more as we go because i know the market's very dry one hour so we're on the one hour as you guys see already the structure low high low high now we're in up structure as you guys see so where's the retracement on this actually i don't know Yeah, this is 50%. Okay, so from this range, 50% would be here and below, which could be the imbalance as well. I shouldn't identify the imbalance. Okay, so this is where I have massive unhealthy price action and a massive gap, and then I have 50% of an order block. So all I'm doing is waiting with this alert for price to come here. Now, what I'm also going to do is take it from this low to here to see where that 50% is. And it's in the middle of this random imbalance. So regardless, the lowest point of interest, right? Because we're trading the lowest POI, right? We're not trading in here, 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 here. It has to be the lowest. So regardless, this is the lowest. So the reason why I measured it again is because technically this is already mitigated. Technically, this is already healthy. Technically, this has already been retraced. So buy, it's already been retraced. Buy, a little bit more buy has already been retraced, right? So this technically price doesn't have to come anywhere in here because it's already been mitigated it's already been done it's already been filled it's already been collected at 50 percent or lower so this has not been has to come somewhere down okay so that's part one of the game we're just waiting for that retracement part two because we're in the one hour so i'm not trying to wait two days for this to happen okay so hopefully this happens overnight but if i'm sleeping it's not going to be relevant so what i can do because i know for sure with the gap right because these ones these 50 percent retracements you didn't have much upa here to fill there's more of just natural price action but here because we actually have upa it's it's really it's um high probability that price is going to go down so with that being said i could easily counter trend because again there's a reason to go down so we're not going to just counter trend um retracements because we feel like it no you, you really need reason so let's get in and look for a distro redistro to get us down and i want to see if this is a distro up here i think we checked earlier okay so ut sorry utad utbc ar test msal could be an entry in here. But yeah, obviously we would have missed it. But the reason, so two things, if this is a distro, obviously it can't enter, it's already done. But we want to back test to one, make sure it is a distro. So we know because after distro is market is um sorry, after distro is redistro. So we want to be aware of market cycle so we can know where we are. Two, we want to back test. So I'm not going to spend too much time back testing. I normally just highlight it and do it later, but I'll just do this quickly because this is the Aussie pair and I need to know and I want to see. So UT, BC, and I'm not sure if this is actually distro until I mark it up and do all my measurements. And this time frame looks a little bit different. So we'll have to switch time frames too. 
but let me get, so I think this was ST. ST then M cell and then major sign of weakness. Now that looks weird. Let's go back to 15. Yeah, this, this was the BC. AR. ST. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my trading range on it. I'm gonna go with body. Okay, so we have trading range alignments. We have trading range alignment, TR alignment. No, not this one. Sorry, dash line is for trading range. And I don't need to align the bottom one because I already know the top one's my entry, which would have been right here. So we found a distro. So I don't have to do too much. Now I do need to put an entry and technically this is the highest imbalance. So it didn't come to fill here. So I'm just gonna switch time frame and see if I can get the imbalance to go lower. If not, well, here we are, 45 minutes. And I'm just gonna throw a quick entry because this is not a back testing call. But like I said, if we're gonna play on AU and we're waiting for the buy, which may take forever, we may be sleeping. We need to wait for the schematic to build. We might have to counter trend. In order to counter trend, you can't do it randomly because you want to. You need to do it if there's something that tells you that you can counter trend. So like I said, okay, I got a distro. Am I in replay? No, it's current price. I'm in distro. So therefore I can redistro down to this point of interest because we haven't had that 50% retracement. So drop it to if that makes sense. Redistro. Okay. So looking for a redistro would be after distro. Now the thing with redistro, unlike the other ones, is that it's not, we don't really know when it's gonna happen, right? So we don't have to be in a previous point of interest. It's not gonna be exactly the top. Redistro is kind of harder to find. So I don't really have much to do until price probably goes lower than this low because this is going to be a sign that we're continuing the down structure to the point of interest let me use a proper line so i'm just going to put an alert and i'm done with this pair so that's what a live analysis is going to look like cool so, and if I miss this redistro, then I have to wait for the accumulation. That's what I'm mostly looking for. So we found a great back test. I need to save that, put it in the chart gallery. Okay, so AJ hasn't been on my watch list in forever. Let's see how clear it is. Yeah, so let's start with the beginning structure. So I'm gonna zoom all the way out on the one hour. I don't need to be on the daily because I'm not trading next year, I'm trading this week so i care about current structure so starting with my lowest low and you guys notice how i'm not marking up all these little pieces of up and down i'm starting with the complete lowest low complete highest high complete lowest low there's no lower low highest high there's no other high so we're in down structure Okay, now within that, I can come and do all this down structure, but I don't think I need to do that. Um, it's very choppy right here. So I want to mark this up and say that we're actually in up structure for current price action. So we might be pushing higher, but this did not break anything. It didn't even break this. And if we do the retracement, We've already retraced here. So price doesn't have to go higher and it doesn't have to go lower. 
So <clears throat> in terms of the structure, I don't know what's gonna happen. And you need to know when you know, when you don't know, you need to understand. So this should not be in my watch list. I would remove it, but the only reason why I'm keeping it is like, cause I said it's an Aussie pair. And I really wanna dial into finding an Aussie opportunity as in that's what's gonna happen tonight if I can. So let's just look in here and look at this price action. So from here, this would be the high. Uh, so something like this, you would have to label twice. This is a higher high, but then it's a lower low. And then high. Okay, so we really want price to break this structure. And from this range, this structure, but this would actually be the major structure for us to really sell this point. Okay, so next we have the structure. Where's our points of interest? So we already talked about market cycle. We don't know, it could go either or. We did our structure, higher time frame, lower time frame. The points of interest here, there's nothing. So this is current price. So if I come below here, no UPA, maybe something right here, which is not relevant for us right now. And if we're gonna sell, like I said, I want to break here to sell, but even if it comes up to distro, where is it gonna distro? Maybe here, there's nowhere to distro. Uh, someone commented that most peers haven't really had much activity for the past two days, I assume there'll be displacements after USD news. Yeah, so we had some, oh yeah, the news would be at 7.30, but the past two weeks, right? So towards the end of the year, you know, these hedge funds, they have to close their books in order to, you know, write statements. So there's a lot of manipulation and it's followed by a lot of slow activity. So we're still in that phase, which is why I haven't done anything for two weeks, but we're still gonna try. I found one trade, one take profit. So we're still gonna try. Um, but, you know, we can't get frustrated for sure. So just knowing when, just setting your alarms, waiting for it to happen. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So I'm going to look for a redistro. I don't see a distro in here. Selling Climax AR, STUT, MSAL. This could be the fill. I'm just going to switch the time frame to make that make sense as the fill. So I'm able to see different time frames, even if I'm not on that particular time frame. So selling climax A R S T U T M S A L fill, and then price to not push lower. So if I mark this up as a distro, which again I'm not going to do for time's sake, I can finesse my risk reward to you know show us a take profit. But if this was a true schematic, it would have pushed price lower. Price would not come back above it. So this is not a true redistro. So the difference between this and that one, I'm not going to get too excited to look for the next phase. Yes, I could still wait here for an accumulation, but this is not valid to show me proper, proper market cycle. So if I have a distro that's a pure distro that has pushed price down, then yes, I can look for a redistro. This is not a real redistro. It's not a full redistro because then it pushed price down lower. It's just pretty much a fill. So this to me is nothing crazy. I don't even have alerts for it. I'll probably set alerts for it later. So I'm not gonna put a flag on this. So let's go to EURUSD. So most of my structure is done. No idea what this is for. Low, high, little low. Okay, so we had a high, low, lower high, a lower low, a little bit of counter trend right here. It's just got taken out. So it's not really worth it for me to mark this up, but you guys can see. Okay, it was up structure. And then at this point, high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. It was down structure, counter trend. Apparently we got finesse, took all that out, took all that liquidity. This came into somewhere in here, which we can find if we want to. 
Um, this is kind of looking like AU, so the USD pairs, right? Coming back up for the buy. So we're gonna treat this the same lower, lowest point of interest, right? This would be for the buy, 50% of the order block. Where are your entries for this pair? There's no schematic. So there's no entry. <laughs> so you guys remember, I, I, I trade top-notch smart money institutional Y clock, right? So some of you guys may be practicing imbalance and stuff, which is good, but the ultimate goal, which is what I teach is schematic. So I'm not entering off of order blocks and balances for fun. I need to schematic to build. So points of interest is when price comes here, it's gonna build a schematic. So the same way you guys should see me mark up distribution, I'm gonna come here and wait for it to do an accumulation, which is gonna take, if it comes here, it's gonna phase A, B, C, D, right? E, F, G, whatever it is. So I don't have an entry until I have a schematic. I'm not just trading imbalances and order blocks and unhealthy price action because I wanna hope that price does that. I trade, you know, one to 10 risk to reward when I see a schematic sniper entry and that's when I have an entry. Because just because there's a point of interest doesn't mean price has to like reject there. It can go through and still collect the imbalance that's there. It doesn't have to reject. So rejection um, through Y cost schematics and entries like that is different than just chasing points of interest. So here we have a BCAR. I already know I don't have any type of MSAL. So this would be consolidation. This cannot be BCAR because there'd be no updrive. So for this one, if I want to counter trend, just like AU, I just be really waiting for the redistro, which I don't have any type of indicator when that's going to happen. The structure here as well. I'm not going to consider this as a low really to break. Um, I'm not going to know when the price is going to come here. So let's go to GU. Go back to the one hour. Where is the structure on GU? Major structure, up structure, and then it becomes down structure. So I need to figure out at what point it's down structure. So it could be taking a liquidity and continuing to go down. So starting from price action, my lowest low, right? You know how, notice how I'm zoomed out, barely see the candles, I mark up the lowest low. Now, this is barely the highest high, but this low is valid. So that's, I'm gonna make this the high. And then from here, kind of hard to be up here. You see I had these other structures. This would be the lowest low for a while. Cause you have to know how to read from left to right and right to left. Cause reading from left to right is price action, how it printed in real time. And I would take this as the high. So low, high, low, low, high. So we did take out all this, um, but I don't think we took it out because we're changing trend. So let's see where we filled in case we're rejection. So if this is a point of interest, AKA an imbalance or an order block, then this would be a valid place to distribute. So we have an order block, it's filling, not filling that time frame, 25, 20, 10. Okay, so the order block would be 50% at here. So let's see what that looks like. And I will take this as a valid point of interest. So like I said, if price comes to a, ooh, but it filled here. Oh gosh, it already filled. Okay, so it's not valid. Okay, so price is doing random things right now. We took out this structure with a wick, not a body. So I wanna consider this structure. So let's just have a look to see if we find any schematics. So I thought that's A-R-S-T-U-T. We may have something here. 
but again, I don't have any unhealthy point of interest to wait for. So let me show you again, because I'm not going to mark it up. Selling Climax, A-R-S-T-U-T, -T, sign of weakness. Did I call this a minor sign? I'll call it S-T. So Selling Climax, A-R-S-T, S-T, minor sign of weakness, UTAD, major sign of weakness, some type of entry somewhere. And price has not pushed lower. So again, with this pair, it's not showing much. And this is going to be the live analysis of the beginning of the year, you guys. Like we kind of said earlier, not much action. Getting back into the habit of understanding what we're doing. We're looking for structure, points of interest, unhealthy price action within the 50% retracement. Now, if we see the back test, if we see how market cycles brought us to that pair, then we can counter trend trade. Okay. And again, I only trade schematics, so I'm not randomly trading because I see order blocks. I'm not randomly trading because I think there's a high. I'm not randomly trading because there's news. I'm waiting until price comes to my point of interest. And once it comes there and does a schematic, B, C, A, R, S, T, M, S, L, U, T, A, D, fills the point of interest with the U, T, A, D, goes away with a major sign of structure, major sign of weakness, break structure either from the MSAL or the whole structure that brought us in to the point of interest. Enter with trading range alignment from the BC. Find Climax trading range alignment right here. Enter off a second point of interest. You guys, there's two points of interest. Sniper entry, right? Instead of just guessing the price is going to reject there. So this is what all the alerts and PYs mean. That's what I'm waiting for. Now, again, with here, we can definitely wait for that 50% retracement. Ooh, look, actually 50% right here. So let's move this alert lower because the price, not this, actually, I'm delete that. If price rejects here, it's completely valid because that's a retracement. So let's see if we have an accumulation up. Just reading the candlesticks, you guys. Don't rush. There's no accumulation here. There's no three drives down, really. Let's see, reaccumulation. Might be reaccumulation in here. Not really. These are all equal lows. I was just looking at the sign of strength. Mm. Okay, well, I can still wait for a reaccumulation in here or some type of accumulation to buy up until I get to that 50% because this UPA stands out to me. Um, consolidation, so liquidity. So this could easily happen tonight or tomorrow morning. We have USD and we have Aussie. Look at that. Aussie. And I would look for an accumulation. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna have two pairs that I'm gonna look off, um, look at myself, but hopefully you guys got value. So this is how you wait for the schematic to come to you, you guys. You don't just get on a trade because it would be nice and it's a new year, we wanna be rich. You have to understand why clock and how it works. So if you wanna do that, I highly recommend you upgrade to the one-on-one -on -one mentorship and you can learn how to actually find the schematics in real time. Okay. So that's the end of today's call, you guys. I hope you guys got value. Happy trading in 2023. And I'll see you guys in the next one.